Hey Virgos, this is Kelly. Welcome back to my channel, House of Virgo. If you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I can't even talk on the video. Um, yeah, so how are you guys doing? This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, some of the messages you guys may or may not resonate, so take what fits, leave the rest. If you wanna get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below the video, okay? Also, you can find me on uh, my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. All right, Virgo, what is going on here? Obviously, the Three of Swords has popped out, so this is a very promising card. There's healing and recovery happening here and an apology for some. Somebody, you're getting an apology from somebody Okay, after like a divorce, maybe there's physical healing, after some kind of a loss, a breakup, somebody's coming in to apologize for something. Oh, you've got an emperor. So Aries energy, for sure. Um, somebody's taking the lead here, coming in, uh, giving you the respect that you some of you that you feel you deserve or you require or you just want you want closure or to just hear somebody maybe just tell you that they're sorry for the way things went or a breakup of some sort um now the emperor can be male or female energy it's just more in a divine masculine stance some of you are getting an apology from a father figure, okay? Or, you know, it could be a family member. Um, it could be a, an employer. But these are love readings, so this person could be, or somebody, could be in around 34 years of age, 34 or 43, I'm just hearing. Okay. So... This is, okay, they're just telling me, this is not easy for this person to do this because this person is generally, I feel like their general disposition in life is someone who is, like, doesn't really share their emotions. They sit in a position of more like a commander, um, They're not someone, you know, they do have them. So the emperor can represent someone who's like the king of kings. The emperor has all the traits of all the kings. Someone who's very supportive and empathetic. Um, someone who's a solid leader. Um, they're very strategic, charming, courageous type of an energy. Um, but not like an overly emotional person. So I feel like for this person to come in or for to apologize, they really mean it. You know, this is like a well thought out apology, which I feel like is coming in here for you. Um, and like I said, it could be from an Aries. Um, yeah, look at this. Ten of Swords. So some kind of an apology for betrayal. This is an I, I surrender. Somebody's coming in and waving this white flag here. I surrender. They're, they, they hit, they're hitting rock bottom here. There's defeat. There's nothing else left for this person to do except to just give you a sincere apology of some sort. It could have been about a third party situation for some or about a relationship of some sort just breaking up or falling apart. Um, there is an energy of an apology about betraying you. Okay, being dishonest with you. 
Maybe this person, for some, isolated themselves from you or isolated you. Okay. I just feel like somebody here is coming to terms with a connection is just like flat out. It's done. It's really over. And this person is, and it may have been over for some time. And I feel like this is very painful for them. This person's in a lot of pain. Now they're wearing their poker face. Yes. So are you able to see the pain on their face? Um, if you see them anywhere? No, they're not displaying it. Very, very poker face energy. Um, but deep inside, very much hurting and wanting um, to rectify this connection. They want to recover the loss. All right, let's see what else is going on. Oh, wow, got the world. Something ended in 2021. And I feel like this person is looking back on, now that's not for all of you, but for some of you, there's, it. even if it didn't end in 2021, this per, the, whoever this person is, they've actually come to terms with your or that there's a new cycle starting or that that the whole situation is done it's just completely finished it happened already they came to terms with that hmm so do i feel like this person is coming into really try to make things work with you again. I, I'm not seeing that, not yet, anyway. I do feel like they're looking back on everything that went wrong. They're looking at themselves and they're looking at the role that they played in the relationship and how either they, if they betrayed you or did something to the relationship that made it end, I don't even know for sure if they did that or not, but it feels like they're taking a look at their faults, um, at where they contributed to the fallout of a love connection here. And I feel like they're ready to start over now. Are they ready to start over with you? I don't know. Are they leaving this behind and coming back to just tell you that they're sorry for everything? Yes, definitely. I do see that. But let's finish out the story here and see what else is going on. Wow. Oh, Seven of Swords in the reverse. This is definitely making amends. This person is definitely coming in to make amends to you, to apologize for everything that's happened in the past, what they did, what they've done, how they broke your heart there. For some of you, they do see that you're healing and you're moving on. And they might be getting themselves in position to move on as well. But I feel like there's one last conversation coming in here at this point, okay? And I do feel like they feel that they wanna do the right thing and not leave any bad blood with you or have any negative, you know, bad energy between the two of you, is what I feel. All right, let's see what else is going on here with this person and you. <clears throat> okay two of pentacles in the reverse i um i think this person struggles with commitment and i feel like even though they are coming back to apologize to you for hurting you or for handling things the way they did or the way they handled your heart i still feel like this person struggles with commitment and I don't want you to listen to this reading and say to yourself, oh, they're coming back to apologize and make amends. And so we're gonna be back together. I 
I feel like right now they are just gonna call you or message you or send you a letter and say, you know, I'm sorry about everything, but I see them here with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, still very unbalanced. This person struggles to maintain balance. It might be very in, unstable, uh, uh, like a, a, an, un, excuse me, an unstable temperament, you know, in a lot of ways. But I feel like it's not even anything about you. I just feel like this person has a hard time with commitment. The whole idea of spending their life with one person overwhelms them. And they're just not capable of doing it. You know, I don't think it's that they didn't want to, Virgo. I just don't think this person, like, had it in them, that they were capable of it. Which is crazy because the Emperor usually is pretty good with that is a very committed person but why is this person unable to commit in relationships long term oh okay so this person has a tendency to fall in love very quickly and what's the word they're giving me here it starts with a g they have visions of grandeur they get excited, they get that dopamine hit. And then when that wears off, then they're kind of like, oh, I guess this isn't meant for me. And then they just flip flop to the next person, they communicate and they travel a lot. For some, it might just be that they travel so much, they don't have like a home base really. Um, I also feel like this person suffers from AD hd or add um in a lot of ways and and they're very like that does play a role in their it's it's a struggle for them to have a relationship because of that um they may also have a form of like high functioning autism as well um this person i feel like they rush into things and they don't really, like when it comes to relationships and their heart, it's kind of like they rush in and they want and they want to rush it and they want to be together and blah, you know, and then, you know, it goes so fast that it blows up. It, it, it goes so fast and it just leaves them so quickly. And I f really do feel like whatever those issues that I mentioned or whatever's going on here, this is what this person struggle with. It's just very unstable, you know? And it doesn't make them a bad person. It's just, they're not aware, but they are aware that they've hurt you. And for some reason, um, they feel, oh, they just gave me, um, maybe they got caught doing something or somebody called them out on something. Uh, they're definitely becoming aware, but I still don't feel like they're ready to, at least so far, to just say, okay, I'm sorry for what I've done. I wanna make it up to you. And can we try it again? That last part, I'm not feeling that just yet. All right, let's see. And of course, as soon as I say it, and Spirit's like, well, hold on, wait a minute. This, okay, listen, Virgo, you're gonna have to just, this doesn't have to be like you're the past person you guys are always talking about in the chat. This could be somebody else that you're connecting with. Like I said, it could be a family member, a friend, a colleague as well. But this could be somebody you're, you're, you, you were dating for just a short amount of time and then they disappeared, that kind of thing. They come in to tell you that they were afraid of committing. It, it doesn't matter. You know who your person is. There was a fear of committing. I do feel that they do have a tendency to just, well, if this isn't going to work, I'll just move on to the next person. But I also do feel like...
their self-awareness that they have trouble committing, they're actually going to start working on that. That's what I feel. Really start, you know, this reading is tough. It, it feels like they're really going to start taking a look at that, but I'm not so sure that they're going to try to do it again with you. I feel like it's going to be more along the lines of they're, they are going to talk to somebody else, possibly. I'm not seeing another person here in the reading, so we're not going to dwell on that aspect, but I feel like they are going to try. There, so, what I, so it's not necessarily talk to like an another person in a ro another romantic relationship it feels more like try to get some training or coaching or therapy or try to join something where they can learn um how to be in a partnership this is such a strange reading where they can learn to um you know be part of a team a romantic partnership you know, two people or a team, a power couple, that, that energy is kind of playing out here for me, you know, because I don't know, this person may feel ashamed that they got caught doing something or that they, um, you know, it's kind of, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Is this person wanting to start a new chapter with Virgo and make amends and try to work it through? Or are they just gonna apologize and then move on and try to do better the next time with somebody else? Oh, okay. It's with you. The Four of Pentacles. This person is not, they're not gonna give up, okay? I mean, I do feel like they are going to give you, you know, try to explain or try to tell you or apologize for something. But with the Four of Pentacles energy, mm, I feel like this person wants, they still want that long-term security with you. But they, you might have told this person over again or mentioned to them what you were looking for, your needs. I don't know that this person... I don't know that it's that they didn't want to meet your needs. I feel like that they just weren't capable of doing that. And now maybe they're taking, I do feel like they're taking a look at this now. And I do feel like they don't want to let you go. They want this long-term thing with you, but they're going to try to get some schooling here or outsource to try to figure out, okay, well, what did, like, what, what's going on with me and why can't, I just heard somebody's birthday, February, 1983 straight off the bat they just gave me february 1980 or or just 1983 okay oh my gosh i have so many messages coming in oh wow yeah see this is what i'm saying this person at this time period and i'm looking i'm actually gonna draw this out like well definitely for the month the rest of january but i feel like this person is truly looking to see how to how to turn a wrong into a right how to fix this how to um make this like a win-win outcome for both of you and for themselves oh my music stopped that is like must be a sign so This just feels to me like um, this person is gonna, like the truth is coming out and it feels more along the lines of like self-truth, okay? So we have Libra energy here as well. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. So those could be the signs of person you might be dealing with. Oh yeah, look at this, the moon, the truth about their lies. I don't know if this person just lies and doesn't even realize that's Piscean, also Cancer energy. I don't know if this person is like a natural default that they just default right to lies. 
Um, they, don't, they don't even realize that they, they were doing it or the things that they, they said or their behaviors. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know if this person had like mind blindness or they just weren't paying attention or I don't even think it's that. I, I, I don't think this person was aware. And I'm, that doesn't mean for you to give them like, you know, uh, extra chances or anything. I think it's that this person needs to become aware of their behaviors. And maybe some of you expressed this to them. Maybe some of you haven't and they're beginning to see it now. Um, or you did and they're taking a look at this because there's a major failure here like a major failure on this person's part I feel like you know it takes two to tango definitely nobody's perfect in relationships but heavy duty betrayal here and something got exposed you know that somebody was dishonest or it, it might have even been that somebody ghosted a lot or they were just their their default response is to run away or just say i'm not talking about this or i don't want to deal with this which is still a betrayal when you know when two people are trying to sit and have a conversation and someone that's like it feels like an overload overwhelms this person they, they can't connect or they have struggles connecting. So I feel like this person is, you know, or somebody here is really taking a look at this. Okay. And that moon energy, again, um, they're looking at their deception, their lies. Um, there's a deep insecurity here. They're looking at the, there's things that were hidden in the dark. Somebody's going through the dark night of the soul. They must be after something has ended. It's like a real boom kind of situation here. Okay, let me just see. Show me this emperor. What's going on with the emperor here? Okay. So the tower in the reverse, as you guys can see, I'm reading reversals today. Um, the tower in the reverse is this person is coming back in because they want to try to avert the absolute like total destruction where there's absolutely no other chances left i feel like their apology is sincere of course you don't have to accept it you you're not obligated to accept it or not accept it i feel like the apology is sincere but this person is like it feels like coming to this place like, wow, I have got to mature and take a look at, you know, my, be accountable for my actions, be, wake up to my role in things here. And Virgo, hopefully, you know, whatever time you've had away from someone, you've also taken a look at your role in things because it's always a benefit when two people are trying to heal a relationship. You know, and even if you're not going to accept this person and try to, you know, work on it again, what lessons have you learned from the past, right? Um, for your next relationship, you know, um, there's a silver lining in everything. I truly believe that. There's always a takeaway, always a lesson learned. Sometimes the lesson is to just stay away from particular types of people or to make sure your boundaries are good. You know, so this person, I see them here, like they know that this is it. Like they feel that way. Now, I don't know for you, Virgo, if it really is. Some of you might have just walked away from the relationship and just said you're not even giving it any energy anymore. Um, but for this person, it feels like the world's come crashing down and they're trying to stop that from happening. They're like a building is tumbling down and they're running like crazy to catch every brick and to push it back up into the building so it doesn't fall apart. Because I don't feel like this, per I feel like there's a huge, you know, this whole reading, um, unless, unless judgment shows up, this whole reading is screaming like a, some, some type of a wake up call here. 
and it may just be something that this person needed to have yeah okay four of wands in the reverse the truth is the truth that this person is coming to and that is coming out of them either directly to you or within themselves is that they have um, what I like to call or they had an issue with uh, uh, they're telling me um, either issues with family uh, the truth is they're telling themselves they have to get away from a previous either a marriage or a foundation that was built up in their life a structure of some sort that they've stuck with for such a long time or the truth is that they had an issue or like again a fear of some type of like a commitment there was a fear of a reunion um, this person if there were plans to get together they didn't want to reunite with you because they didn't want to make you think that they um, were ready to commit because they weren't they couldn't they may have said it's not the, something that they want at this time in their life but it feels more like the truth is that they were just incapable of doing it for whatever reason okay and I think that that's huge for some of you to consider because sometimes when someone is just truly incapable of loving another person um, if they're unbalanced or there's some trauma or something like that it looks like another person's being rejected um, or that they're not good enough but that's not the case the case here is it had nothing to do with you and this person it had everything to do with them they very much were stuck wanted so much to have something with you yet couldn't make it happen and for some they may have not been aware of why um, but they weren't willing to let you go they couldn't so this person it feels like they couldn't be with you fully because they were incapable of being with you fully yet at the same time they were incapable of dealing with you being fully gone so they kind of had you stuck maybe a little stuck here this person was they have a depth to their emotions but they don't understand them because they're so far buried like they just it's very hard for them to connect with their feelings they're very hidden the moon is very is like hidden okay the the most that this person was able to arrive at um with you was just casual dating or friendship soulmate kind of energy which is fine um that was as far as this person was able to go with you and they may have just kind of kept you there saying well yeah you know um you know i'm I, i'm not ready for a full on but we can can we still be friends or can we still talk I, I i don't know if you have left the connection virgo or if you're in that process now of waking up to things yourself but I do feel like this person definitely wants to connect with you again. And I do feel like you're going to be hearing from them. Um, there'll be a lot of apologies. Now, will they go into detail about, you know, you know, people can come up and say, hey, I'm sorry. And then, but you have to say, okay, for what? And then make them tell you what they're sorry for to be specific very easy to just say oh I'm sorry <laughs> you know but let's ask what is this apology going to entail from this person okay wow Queen of Cups reversed okay it either had to do with somebody else okay male or female 
um, somebody who was connected to them or it's them, uh, apology for their, either their smothering, controlling behavior, um, apology for their insecurities and how it affected the relationship, um, any addictions they might have had that affected the relationship. If they were, uh, apology for, uh, I'm going to say this, um, manipulating to get what they wanted without considering what you needed. Um, apology, apologies definitely for any um, abusive behavior. Wow, it's heavy duty. It's heavy duty. Um, I don't know that this person is going to come right out and spill the beans, but I know that um, they don't want to let you go. They don't want things to be completely over, like forever and ever and ever and ever. Hmm. It's a tough reading, Virgo, for you. Some of you are just like, no, it's not. Uh, an apology is fine. Fine. They want to apologize for it. That's fine. I hope that they get the help that they need and they do, you know, better or they feel better about themselves going forward. Others of you are like, yeah, they, they can apologize all they want. The door's locked. Uh, signal is a Pringle and move it on. And I'm not interested in any apologies at this point. It's completely fi fine and I'm done. Right, and for others, uh, I know there's somebody here who's gonna say, oh, that would be really great. And maybe we can overcome our obstacles and our problems. Let's see what the other Oracle messages are here for you. Okay, wow, heartbroken, there you go. Deeply hurt, sad, there's separation or a breakup. Someone's feeling lost, grieving, mourning. And that's the whole premise for this reading. This is what's going on. I mean, yeah, somebody's missing you. And and there's a percentage of you here who are missing this person or just hopeful that things could get back on track and there could be healing. Um, but whatever, you know who you are. You know your story. I just feel like this person is really going through it right now. They're really mourning the loss of you. Or, um, hmm. Even for those of you who haven't really left the relationship, if you're still kind of there, they're sensing that this isn't going to last unless they do something. And I don't know exactly why that is. I don't know if you've done anything or your energy is different, but somebody here is sensing like this. I just heard that door song. This is the end. <laughs> do you, I don't know if anybody remembers that song. It's so weird. It just popped up in my head. I have like a like I have like a Rolo Dex, like a, a jukebox in my head that just you know flip in the corner quarter, and people don't even do that anymore, do they? Uh, flip in the quarter and just <laughs> roll the tab and pick your song. That's what's. I feel like I have a spirit here that just does that in my head. I'm like, oh, we're going with this song. So somebody here is completely heartbroken, like oh, it's devastated completely like a very painful like defeated feels extremely defeated yep you're getting a love call someone expressing their love thinking of you and letting you know so this person may reach out and send you some type of message saying i'm thinking of you or i miss you um they want to let you know um it's a call. It's a phone call. It's not a text right here. Okay. It's not a, um, it's not, it's not an email. It could be a voicemail that's left. You might have somebody blocked, so you won't even get it. You know, it doesn't mean they're not going to try. Could be a phone call from a different phone number, which if that was intentional, I don't know. I'm not going to judge, but look, it's, it's a phone call. Somebody's picking up, look at that old phone. That's the one where you had the cord that was hung on the wall and the cord went for like 50 feet. So you could like walk around, you'd go from the living room to the kitchen while you're on the phone, before the cordless phones. <laughs> See, I remember this stuff, okay? I remember this stuff. And I remember when that long ass cord from the phone, like we got one and we're like, oh my God, I can walk around the house. <laughs> while I'm on the phone. I was so excited. 
<laughs> yeah, crazy. I feel aged and old. I can't deny it, but it's all good. Um, let's see. Oh, mask. That just was right there. Not showing true feelings. They, this person would hide. Hide their person, uh, their, 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 their persona, who they truly were. They were not being authentic with you. They were uh, behind a mask. Okay, maybe this person was. Look at these masks. Are these theater masks? Maybe this person worked in theater. You know, maybe they were an actor. You know, pretending. Like I said, poker face. And I feel like. This person, I don't know why this person was like that. Like I said, they could have, they could have other things. Like I, I was mentioning some um, DSM things, you know, um, could be a cluster A, cluster B thing. I don't really know. I just know that there's a mask here and this person was I, it just incapable of, of really expressing their feelings and their love. And now they're doing it. Now they're gonna do it, express their love but their apology, it's apologetic love. And for some, I know it's a little too late for that. It's just a little too late, a little too long, and I can't wait. Jojo. Okay. Gosh, sometimes these cards come out and I'm just like, I, they, I, they surprise me. Healing heart. This is what I said. And this is the first card that came out here. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. There's a healing energy that's happening here, okay? Um, you know, again with the apology, but there's also, I feel like we're on the mend here. That's what I feel like, we're on the mend. Some people, like two, two people have just gone their separate ways and they just said, forget it or, you know, you dated for like three weeks and it just didn't go anywhere and you just said, forget it. And it's a, like, there's an energy of like, wow, this thing could absolutely be done forever and good and it's just never gonna get another chance again. And I feel like that's scaring somebody here, at least inspiring them to actually take a look at themselves and do something. Do something differently. If not with you in love going forward, you know, if you decide you don't want to, you know, reconcile with somebody, then they're still going to get their healing, which will be good for them, you know, because whomever they wind up with later will get the benefit of them. Okay. Um, you know, but it's up to you, Virgo. If you don't want this person back, then wish them well. Keys on a ring, many options, decision unconventional string along one night stand see a lot of you were felt like that like that w is what this connection was about like this person had a keychain and they had like every lover's ring on on the er, key on the keychain so you know they had the key to go into your door and then they're done with you they had the key to go into somebody else's door you know um this person had a lot of options or you felt like they did and you didn't feel like they were making you, like they were taking the other keys off there and just leaving yours on there, okay? Um, and a lot of you just felt like this person was stringing you along. So you guys, I understand if after, and I don't condone people, you know, going back to a relationship where there was so much damage and so much hurt and betrayal. Uh, I I think some people just need to get their lesson and move on. I really do. I, I don't, I mean, unless it's your kids, you know? I mean, when somebody's just damage after damage after damage, I mean, there's people who are really repentant for the things that they've done, you know? And I, I guess if this is like, I. For some of you, this is like the first time this this has happened and then you want to give it another shot. But I mean, it's, if you keep on giving chances, yeah, this is the boy who cried wolf scenario, you know? Eventually, 
this person cannot be believed or trust even because even when they do finally get the help that they need and they finally become aware for some of you it's like no it's too late like it's the damage is so it's so far gone at this point i could never rebuild this with you and i totally agree in that sense if you're in that position where you're like no new love new i got I, it's so much safer and i feel better to meet somebody else and start over than to just repeat this go through this whole thing again you know people got to get their they got to get their consequences and you know you make your bed you got to lie in it you know so uh, you know it's up to you this it's a general reading so at the end of the day i'm just a messenger here and i'm just telling you what's going on with this person okay love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction all right there's definitely a love energy playing out here now for some of you this is self-love this is about yourselves you're just like nope 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 I couldn't even betray myself as bad as this person did. So I, no thanks. I'm moving on. Okay. I'm loving myself. I'm going to give myself some Valentine's candy and flowers. And, you know, if you're female. So, I mean, I guess males do that too. Um, I'm going to find somebody else who wants to love up on me, you know, and, and wants to cuddle and spend time with me. And that's Virgo. Do it. That's where you're at. That's what you need to just keep praying, keep manifesting. You don't have to go out seeking that. Um, just make yourself available for it. That's all. That's all you have to do. You know, put your, you got to position yourself. Like, I feel like I'm giving you dating advice, but position yourself to be seen, Virgo. You don't have to go out with your lasso and trying to draw in all these different people. You just got to position yourself to be seen. The right one will come along. Okay. Um, if I may give you a little caveat, especially for the women, stay off dating sites. Dating sites are predator sites. The majority of women that are on dating sites are looking for long-term commitment or relationships. Um, the rest are bots and they're looking for sex and the others are not bots and they're just looking for a, a, a hookup, okay? But the majority of men that are on there, they know they, it's too, you got to stay away from it because they, those guys on there know that women are looking for long term and they'll say right off the bat, oh, I'm looking for the same thing. Yeah, I'm looking for, you know, see how things go. And then the girl gets excited, but those aren't usually their intentions. And trust me, I have three sons who are all adults. Trust me when I tell you, the majority of guys on there are just trying to hook up. A, a guy who's really looking for a long term on a dating site is going to fork out the money to pay <laughs> like big money and and even some of them are fakes so that's just my little talk to you and what you guys do if you're on dating sites i mean you know i'm sure you understand that there's more men on there than women and I know people who have who got on a dating site and they've been on those dating sites for 15 plus years and they still never found the love of their life because they're just living in the metaverse on the dating sites. Okay. I know your question. We'll have a listen, we'll have those talks in my membership when you join and you join the members live only chat, we'll talk about where are good places to meet guys, to meet men or to meet others, to meet women, whatever. Um, we'll talk about that stuff, but I'm 100% uh, anti-dating site. It's not the same as it used to be. Now it's just predatory. And there's a lot of like freaks and there's like, oh God, you hear stories about like, there's some pedophiles on there and, just and their bots and oh it's awful ew i feel like i got bugs all over me when i talk about it <laughs> um all right i want to see some hidden truth oracle messages for you guys let's see i feel you leaving me behind see that's what i that's what i'm saying I feel like this person is picking up some kind of energy that you're just, you're done. Virgo, some of you are like, oh, that's exactly what you're feeling. 
because I am never coming back, ever. <laughs> I know that I crossed the line with you, okay. And so many things remind me of you, okay. This person is really, listen, Virgo, don't get mad at me, I'm just the messenger. If somebody you feel, if you need closure, or you want that, or you just want to hear something from someone that says, like, I'm really sorry that I did that to you, and I'm going to make my life better. If that's something you need, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? And I feel like this person is triggered. They still get triggered by you. Um, things that they see, songs that they hear, um, I don't know, whatever it is, this person still, they're still feeling you. They're feeling the void, the absence, and the loss. And if that is instigating them, inspiring them to make changes in their life for the better going forward, whether it's with or without you, that's good for them. Good for them, right? It, it's up to you, Virgo, is what I'm trying to say here. I mean, it's not like, oh, I'm predicting this person is just going to come in and then you're going to be together. No, you don't have to get mad at me because at the end of the day, the message comes in and you could also click off and say no. Leave it at my door, babe. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not accepting, we're not accepting apologies in 2022, especially without any amends. And even if there are amends, thank you very much. Take care. So it's up to you. I'm just letting you know. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, so this person's got a lot of feeling energy showing up here. I feel you. I feel you leaving me behind. I feel you right now as we're apart. Some of you um, are able to pick up on what they're feeling. And okay, so what I want to say about this. Some of you, this may be a twin flame connection. Um, for those of you who want that twin flame healing, it feels like the wheels are in motion here. Um, when you're feeling extreme sadness out of nowhere, and it's not hormonal, and it's just coming out of nowhere, I feel like this person, that you're picking up what they're feeling at this time. If you have been feeling lately overwhelming grief for no reason, okay, it's not your grief. No, no, it's theirs. You're feeling them. If you've been waking up with sweats or if you've been having nightmares or you're just like, what is wrong with me? I can't get out of this funk. I'm not even, nothing bad's happening in my life. I don't understand. It's not you, it's them. Okay. That's their grief and their sadness. And you're still picking that up. All right. You know what? What time is it? Oh, we got like 12 minutes. So let me do a couple of um, romance cards here. Let's see what else. Oh no, Spirit just said, we want the messages of love. Okay acceptance look at that everything happens for a reason some of you are just coming into this place of complete peace or you're already there you'll accept the apology you'll say thank you others are just in this place of like okay they're gonna apologize i just I, i've already accepted it it's fine I'm, i've already moved on from this and that's great leap of faith it's safe to make the move you're considering i feel like this person has definitely come to a place of acceptance about wow i played a role in this it wasn't all virgo's fault i need to like make amends and correct these wrongs and this leap of faith is them reaching out to you um them trying to make a move towards you okay they've learned the spiritual lesson they've mastered the spiritual lesson and so what does that mean? Um, I don't know if this person's having a come to Jesus moment or a come to higher power moment, you know, hitting rock bottom very much. It could have been uh, an addiction, like I said, of some sort. Um, and it's a spiritual lesson. So it's surrender, you know, it's surrendering to something greater than ourselves. Look, we've got marriage. Okay. This relationship is moving toward a secret union. All right. Um,
but you also have new love a new love or a recommitment to love is developing some of you you may be getting into another love relationship in january and that's right when this person comes in with the apology they may want you back get it you know they, they may want to re have a recommitment to something here you know or try again and like i said i don't know every all y'all's specific situations i don't know what exactly each one of you are going through but like i said at the end of the day it's like your decision all i can tell you though um if you're not involved with somebody now there is new love coming in january but i can tell you this person is going to be calling you phone call and wanting to talk and it's not going to be a conversation about you know how's the weather in your area <laughs> you know it's it's going to be a lot deeper than that you know which for some of you i know you're like there's no way this person isn't going to do it they are unable to take off the mask and they might let it slip a little i do feel like what? hello I do feel like there's gonna be like a little, you can come in. There's gonna be a little mask slippage. Okay. Um, they're gonna let it, they're gonna let it down a little. All right, let's go check out the charms and see if we have any dates or anything else going on. Some of you might already be involved with somebody else. Um, the apology may come in and then it's like, thank you so much. I appreciate that. But I'm with, I'm seeing somebody else now. Um, and I don't really feel like this person's gonna feel, they're, they're gonna care about that if you're with someone else. For some of you, this person is gonna wish you to be happy in your life if you're with somebody else. But they do are like i'm telling you this person's i don't know they have like some kind of moral code or something going on but they are going to just apologize for everything so that there's no bad energy bad blood left okay which you know hey. let's see okay oh. okay yeah Definitely some, some truth coming out about a heartbreak or some sadness, okay? Um, personal growth, absolutely happening. Um, so somebody, I, I'm picking up the birthdays on the third. Okay. The third and the sixth. I'm picking up the third and, and I'm also seeing a male and a female and a child. Oh, somebody's going to try and put a ring on your finger. Uh, oh, Prince, I just, I just saw I just got a huge Prince vibe once again. Oh, no, what's that song? I heard it the other day too. And that's so weird. I didn't even realize. It's not When Doves Cry, it's something else. I can't remember it, I don't hear it. But look, can you see the Prince symbol? Mm, there you go, right there, okay first time I've ever seen that um, and we also have um, a, f a red flag with like a white cross on it a red flag with a right oh, uh. oh oh okay now they're giving me oh that's an old song um, they, they just showed me um, a Corvette a red Corvette so it must be a little red Corvette uh, maybe that's how your person was they were just really fast and just coming in to, you know, hit it and quit it. <laughs> okay. Opening up about that. That's what I feel like is going on. Okay. So, um, we have the initials, the letter G. 
we have a J. I'm also hearing um, April, uh, between April 4th and April 16th, I'm hearing. I don't know what that is, what that means. Okay. Um, so someone's birthday is on the 10th. Okay. What the, the heck? This, the, um, I'm just hearing the 23rd, the 24th, and the 26th. Okay. And the 5th. Um, okay. They just gave me the phrase road runner, road runner. I don't know what that means. Road runner. And, um, somebody drives an SUV. There's initials also, um, the letter M as in like Mary M as in Michael or Um, an S, the letter S. Somebody's birthday's on the ninth. Oh, hello, September 10th in the house. Okay, September 10th in the house. Oh, um, Okay, so I don't know what this means, but they're telling me the word J-O-U. Joe, Joe, J-O, J-O-U-S, juice, juice? That's how, you, that's how you spell, a jus, a jus, jus, J-O-U-S. I don't know what the heck that means. Um, okay, somebody, all right, let me see. I just heard Greece. Oh, okay. Somebody is Somebody is Asian or from Asia? Um female perhaps or has a feminine uh look about them? Asian feminine look. I'm also seeing um, somebody is like really close to giving birth. Somebody is very, very close to giving birth. Okay, very close. Like you are, somebody might be, or somebody is due in October. Okay, <laughs> there's like a baby being born in October. I just heard um, somebody's gonna have a boy and a girl. Okay, and like twins is what I'm trying to say. Okay, or you have a girl and now you're having a boy, or you have a boy and now you're having a girl. Or there's, it's a grand, it could be a grandchild as well. Okay, it's not boy, boy, it's not girl, girl. <laughs> All right, let's get some charms. Oh, that just flew out. <gasps> the heart, it just popped out of nowhere. And it's got some kind of weird red thing on it. Yeah, it's got a gold heart. Maybe somebody wears a gold heart necklace. Gold heart just flew out. Love is coming in, babes. Okay, like I said, you guys, I know I said you've got somebody coming in to apologize, but I'm also seeing somebody coming in for the month of um, January. Um, a f um, I'm hearing a female, well, for some it's a female, um, <laughs> for those who like females but it's an air sign Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Okay, we also have a pink rocking horse so either you have bought a pink rocking horse maybe for a child or you're refurbishing one or you're looking at one um, this is a toy this is a child's toy doing something with a rocking horse a little pink rocking horse Okay. Oh, and now we're getting, now they're telling me Bambi. Bambi. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay, now, I don't know. They just said, 
Somebody's putting like butterfly decals on a wall. They just told me. But there, it's like outline. Or it's a tattoo maybe. Butterfly, it's like an outline. It's Or it's like a garden, they're looking at, I don't know, you're looking at garden things. Like you can see through it, you know what I mean? It's not solid. And then we've got, oh. Okay, I just heard a devil with two tails. You know how a devil usually has one tail? I'm seeing a devil with two tails. I don't know what the heck that means. That's the image that they're getting me with this charm. Devil with two tails. <laughs> okay, one more. Oh, and a dolphin. Dolphin with a ball. It's such a strange charm. Dolphin with a ball. Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. The dolphins? Miami dolphins, maybe? But then I heard, I heard uh, this is the second time I heard the word dolphin today. Um, Dolphin is a city. Somebody lives in a city called Dolphin, D-O-L-P-H-I-N, or D, or, all right, they just gave me New Braunfels, New Braunsfels, New Braunfels, Texas, or something in Texas, somewhere near there. What a strange message. Okay, these are strange messages. There's a lot of baby stuff here going on. Um, I guess if there's a girl that's going to be in the, like a little girl or something, a baby girl being born, something with butterflies and rocking horses, I don't know, but I'm, I'm definitely picking up like, um, oh, SeaWorld, that Texas thing, I've never even heard of that place, I just see it going across my head, New Braun, I just see New Braun, like brawny, like brawn, okay. Brussels sprouts. I don't know. What the heck. Too many messages. <clears throat> All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your, your reading there. I hope that that was helpful and gave you some insight and go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. So you can get, I upload Virgo readings every 10 days there. Okay. Um, yeah. So definitely hit like, share and subscribe. And I am open for the rest of this week. If you want to book a personal reading with me and, um, Gosh, I don't know what else to say. Don't forget to go over to my website. The link is below this video and purchase my Twin Flame ebook. It's $11.11, .11, okay? And don't forget to join the channel. I will be going live here on Sunday, the 16th um, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, you guys? So then you can get mini readings with me. All right, love you all very much. And I will see, oh, I'll also be going live on Saturday, the 15th on the Moon Pie Tarot channel. If you want to get readings with me in there, they're, they're going to be $20 for three cards. All right, you guys, love you. I'll see y'all later. All right, bye.